Hi, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a quick haul of all the things I got on the Disney cruise that we went on. So my family went on a Disney cruise in January 2020, and we planned this cruise since January 2018. So we had two years to know that we were going to go on this cruise and plan and prepare for it and save money. That was the biggest thing was try to save money for any souvenirs we wanted to buy. Now, the best thing about the Disney cruise is that you can use gift cards on the Disney cruise. So we did ask for gift cards like at Christmas time at our birthdays. I did ask for Disney gift cards from family members and I used a lot of those gift cards towards my purchases that I bought on the cruise. So we went on the Disney Wonder and we ported out of Galveston, Texas and we went to Cozumel. It was a five day, four night Disney cruise and um, it was my first Disney cruise. So I just wanted to share some of the things I did buy. The first thing I bought when I knew we were going on a cruise was I ordered a shirt from the happiest um, tea company. I'll link them down below, but this is a shirt that I bought. So it says, oh, happy day. And I wore this shirt to embark upon the ship where we take pictures. So our family did take pictures there at the cruise ship um, when you go into embarkation and you can get them like this. I know that my, there was, we had five staterooms. So my dad bought the main picture and then you can get reprints at a cheaper price. So he did buy those, but this was like a whole family photo. And then they just came in these little folders. So that was one thing we got. That was like as soon as you get on the ship, you take those pictures. Um, the first thing that we did get were drink cups, souvenir cups. Now, this is one thing I wish I would have known, but as soon as you get on, they're gonna try selling to you drink souvenir cups, refillable cups. And the first thing were the cocktail drink cups. So they look like this cup and it comes filled with a cocktail and they tell you you can refill it um, for like a cheaper price, but it's really not because we learned that they have a drink of a day and the drink of a day every day is $5. So if you want the drink of the day, it's $5 no matter what. So they're gonna give it to you in a cup, but you could get it filled in this cup and they do wash it out for you. And this cup, you maybe get like that much more, but when you first buy this cup, it's $14.99 for the cup and the drink that you buy. So I would recommend unless you really want this cup, to just go with the drink of the day. So that's the cup. I would have probably not have gotten this cup if I knew the drink of the day every day was $5. So the better buy, this is for cocktails. The better buy is if you're a beer drinker and then they sell these. Um, so this is, and this is glass. So it says Disney Cruise Line on there and you get this huge mug and you fill it up and instead of carrying the mug back and forth, you get like a token card. Now I didn't do this, but my brother-in-law did, and him and my sister both got one, so they let me have one of the one of the souvenir glasses. So at the end of your whole trip, when you're done returning the tokens, you get to go get just the cup, and you can take it home with you. So you get a brand new one. You just have to take it home and wash it. So this is a better value if you're gonna drink beer. I would go with this one. The cocktail one, not so much. Now the other refillable thing was the popcorn bucket. So this is the popcorn bucket that I got at one of the shows we went to. Now I got it the probably the second night. And as you can tell, it's like a Christmas one, but they had it on the ship in January. Now this guy was $21.99 and it cost a dollar, one dollar to refill it with popcorn. I would have loved to have gotten it the first night. Unfortunately, I didn't even think about it until like the second or third night. I think I got it the third night. So I only got to refill it about three times. It is $21.99 by itself with popcorn and then $1 after that. But if you buy a little bowl of popcorn, that alone is like $6. So if you have a family or a lot of kids, you might want to go with one of these because you can refill it for a dollar throughout the whole duration of your cruise. And they sell popcorn at all the nightly shows and at the movie theater. So that is a good thing to go for, I think. So you the popcorn goes in there. And then he's so cute to bring him home. Now the first thing I saw at the at the souvenir shops were the ears. Now I saw these ears the first time we went into the store and I said, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna walk around. And when I went back to get them that night, they were gone. And then I thought there's no way they would have sold out in a few minutes, but sure enough, they couldn't find them. I asked the man, they couldn't find him in the back, but he did say they have a lot of packages they were gonna go through and to come back later. So I went back later, they didn't have them. I went the next day, they didn't have them again. The third day I went, they finally had them and they were these, so. They have the Mickey mini bow and then the little anchor with Mickey on the head. And I really wanted these and so I'm glad I found them the third day that I was there. So I would recommend if you see something you want the first night to 
just get it because they do sell out and it is a ship. So you don't know like their inventory or what their inventory is gonna be like. But because I do know for a fact that my little nephew bought um, a Mickey, Pirate Mickey, and there was maybe three left in the store. And when we went back, there weren't any. So we thought, okay, well, they'll put some out later. Nope, they never brought any out. And on Pirate Night, a lot of kids, uh, moms were asking where we got that Pirate Mickey. And I said, well, at the gift shop. But like I said, they were sold out. So they did sell out of that Pirate Mickey. So if you do see something or your kids see something that they really want, I would definitely recommend um, definitely looking and getting it the first time you see it because you don't know they might sell out. Um, the next thing I did buy were plushes. I did get a Disney Wishable, Cruise Wishable, and I opened it and I got Donald. He's cute. I did want Pluto or Goofy, but that's okay. And the ones I did want really, I like plushes. I'm an adult who likes plushes. I can't help it, but my favorite ones are Chip and Dale. So I bought these two guys. Now these are $19.99 each, so I had to get the set. They're cute though. Has Dale on his hat and Chip on his hat. And um, I actually got to meet them. They're the only characters I did meet on this ship. The next thing I bought was a Tervis. I knew that I was gonna buy a Tervis because I do like the Tervises and they're great for work because I do teach. And so I like to take my Tervis with me for, for with water for the day. So I bought this one. And so it's a clear Tervis, it says Disney Cruise Line. And it has a bunch of the little anchors. So they have so many Tervis cups. It's outrageous. There were probably 20 different kinds, but I went with that one. Um, the next thing I bought um, merchandise wise were clothing and jewelry. So I did buy an Alex and Ani bracelet. I didn't think I was going to, but I did. So I bought this one. So it's a little mini with the anchor. And these are about the same price on the ship as they are everywhere, like $44.95. And then I bought um, a Pandora charm for my bracelet, which I have on. So let me show it to you. So I bought that one, the little, I did ask the cruise line, um, like the limited ones for the cruise ships, which were, was that one. That was the only one that I really liked. They had some specific for the cruise ship, but I didn't, the Disney wonder one was like hanging and I didn't want to dangle one cause I'm always afraid like they're going to hook on things. But what I did get that was specific to the Disney wonder was I got a spirit Jersey and I know they're so expensive. Spirit jerseys are $64.99. And I was just on Shop Disney last night. And I saw that they're raising the price to $69.99. So I'm glad I didn't pay that much for these. But I did get, yes, these. I got two. So I got the Disney Wonder Spirit Jersey. Looks like this. It has Disney Wonder. And then it has the little Disney logo on the front. I like these because it had like the blue with gold sleeves. Um, $64.99, but it's so comfortable and they're so nice to wear. And this one is specifically for our ship, so I got that one. The other one I got is just a Disney Cruise Line logo one. It's not specific for any ship, but I got this one. So this was navy blue, and it has Disney Cruise Line in rose gold and navy blue, and it has a little logo. So I did see a lot of these with the rose gold, like the rose gold writing, but this was the only one I saw with the blue writing outlined in rose gold and I loved it. And then I love the sleeves too. So the sleeves have rose gold on there and they're like stretchy. Um, but I love spirit jerseys, I can't help it. This is probably my, Oh my gosh, like my ninth one. I did buy a couple at the outlets, so I don't pay full, I try to pay full price, but this one was the one that I really liked. I went in there knowing I was probably gonna get this one, so I'm glad I did. I don't regret any of them. Like I said, I did save up, saved up gift cards, and I saved up money for the two years that I knew that I was gonna be going. So if you have kids, I would definitely recommend um, getting gift cards. Another thing I wanted to share real quick was that in the in the staterooms, they do have things like in the drawers where you have a vanity set up. There is no, uh, little notepads and envelopes. And um, there's two postcards in there, which are really cute. So let me show them to you real quick. So 
these are the two postcards. So we have the ship and they're just like normal postcards. And then this one. So definitely don't forget to get these because they're in the stateroom. Don't leave your room on the last day without the postcards because they're so cute and they're free. I mean, technically not free, right? You pay for your room, but they're there. So take them. But there's a lot of cute things that I did take that were free. Like the children's menus, they're super cute. At every dining night, there are super cute menus that come out. So definitely look into that if you're interested in keeping those as little souvenirs that are free souvenirs. But those are the things I did buy. Oh, one last thing as I look to the side. I did purchase all of the reusable bags, all three sizes. They're okay. the same price no matter what. So every time I went to the shop to buy something, you can take your purchases with you or you can buy a bag. And I was like, I'm going to use them, so I bought them. So this is the smaller one. And they all say the same thing. This is the medium. Same thing. And then this one is the large. Where are you? <laughs> Super big. It was funny because they told me they don't really don't actually offer this one to anybody. But I think it's great. I've been using it for work and I took like all my students' treats for an event we had in here. And it's really good. Just don't overpack it because the straps are not that strong. So yeah, reusable bags is the way Disney's going. So definitely look into getting those. But that's everything I bought on my Disney cruise um, on the Disney Wonder. I really hope we can go again sometime. I know it's a huge investment, but it's definitely worth it. It's super fun and exciting to go and a great way to spend time with your family. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.